Grand Junction High School has a storied past in the Valley with graduating students since 1911. And today marks an important new milestone in the school's history. Our Kyra Isaacs was there as District 51 officials finally broke ground on the Tigers' exciting new chapter. I was thinking about how do you thank people for doing something that's going to have such a lasting, long-term impact on students and our school district for years to come and the community. Today starts the official groundbreaking and construction of Grand Junction High School's newest building and chapter. Dozens gathered for the event, including Grand Junction High School's current principal, D-51 Superintendent Dr. Diana Serco, school board members, and three generations of GJHS alumni, Tom Coit, class of 1958, Megan Junker, class of 1989, and Mackenzie Junker, class of 2019. And all my years of standing up on the rails at football games, chanting GJ all day, and singing the fight song after every Tiger football game, Never have I been more proud to be a Tiger than today. The new school will be a three-story, 250,000 square foot building to accommodate 1,600 students, though there is room for upwards of 1,900. And when you think about it, if this building lasts for 75 years and we put 400 students through, that's 30,000 students getting a quality top tier education in our valley. And with a new school comes new features. We are moving to an academy model, which really allows students the opportunity to um, explore career options before they're paying tuition to explore those options. Rather than divide students by grade or subjects, classroom wings will be sorted into career pathways like health sciences and human services, business and entrepreneurship, engineering, technology, and natural resources. We're incredibly proud of the work that our students have done, and it's been great to see the community come out and support it. I can't wait to see our Tigers walking across the street for the new Grand Junction High School to take classes for free at CMU or hopping onto the bus to take classes for free at WCCC. Construction will run from this summer to the summer of 2024. That's when D51 will demolish the old buildings and build sports fields in their place. Grand Junction High School is not only breaking ground today, but it's on track to change the lives of today's students. But given this kit, given us the education we need and the resources we need and the technology we need, it's really important. And the lives of new generations to come. Reporting first on the Western Slope, I'm Kyra Isaacs, KREX 5 News.